This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, Baruch HaMavoyim. I want to share with you a point by Ion on Yuvamas Nun Tassam Aleph. The Gemara brings a machlikis between Reb Meir and Reb, uh, Reb Lazar and Reb Shimon regarding the status of a Baigeras to a Kohen Gadol. Reb Meir holds a Kohen Gadol cannot marry a Baigeras. Reb, 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 Reb Shimon holds a Kohen Gadol could marry a Baigeras. Reb Meir who holds a Kohen Gadol cannot marry a Baigeras. However, Kohen Gadol could marry a woman who somebody lived with Sholei Kedarka. And Reb Lezer Reb Shimon say, while a Kohen Gadol can marry a Baigeras, he cannot marry a woman who somebody lived with her Sholei Kedarka. The Mishnah Lamelech has a fundamental chakira regarding the halacha, regarding the mitzvah, that a Kohen Gadol could only live with a Basula. What is this uh, din that a Kohen Gadol could only live with a Basula? That is the Shaila of the Mishnah Lamelech. The Mishnah Lamelech has a very big chakira in Hilchas Yisra Abiyya, Perak Yod Zayin, Halach Yod Gimel. The Mishnah Lamelech says, the Perak Habal Yivimtoi, U Mikasav Zel Amanish Habu'ula Asur Lekohen Gadol. So there's a din that a Kohen Gadol cannot live with a Bu'ula. Yesh l'histapek im Bu'ula zu sha'asara kosov im hainu davka kishen nivalav ha'itzidam. The din of a Bu'ula is that only if he lived with her and he was ma'itzidam, de'ein la besulam, that she doesn't have besulam anymore. In other words, is it only if she, her besulam were broken? But let's say he lived with her behataya. The Gemara Subas talks about a type of bia where somebody goes off to the side without breaking the besulim. Let's say some uh, a man had relations with a woman, and she's still uh, her besulim are intact. Vadam besulaisa kayom in mahu. The Gemara Subas says on vavam beis roiv bekin behataya, and it's mashm over there, and it's muchach over there that it doesn't uh, remove any blood. That's why it's mutar on Shabbos. So, the Isser of Be'ula that we learn out from the Besula, do we need her to have actual Besulim? And as long as she has Besulim, even though she's a Be'ula, she's Mutter? Or do we say, Be'ula is Be'ula? And in that case, let's say a man had relations with one Behara, and not full-fledged Bia. Well, that asks her, the woman to a Kohen Gadol. And in the Arichos of the Mishnah Melech, he says, L'chayra should be tali on the Machlekes, Reb Meir, and Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Shimon, according to Rabbi Meir, that a woman who had relations Shalai Kedarka is mutter to a Kain Gadol. So that implies that you have to actually break uh, the Besulim. And if Dam did not come out, then it could be, if a man did Hataya, it could be she would be mutter. Masha'in came according to Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Shimon, who say that a woman who had Bia Shaloi Kedarka is Asr to a Kohen Gadol, that clearly means you don't need the Basulim to have been broken. As long as she has a Din of Baula, she's Asr to a Kohen Gadol. According to Rabbi Lezer Reb Shimon, the, st- the Din that a Kohen Gadol could only marry a Basula, not a Baula, clearly it's not dependent on that. Meaning, according to Rabbi Lezer and Reb Shimon, we see that if Bia Shaloi Kedarka Asrs her, then... There's no din, she has to have um, besulim. In other words, it, there's no din that if she doesn't have besulim, she's asr, because even if she does have besulim, she'll be asr, if it's biyashulai kadarka. So, Kondir Allah's Reb Shimon has nothing to do with the removal of the besulim. Mashain came according to Reb Meir, who says that biyashulai kadarka, the woman is mutter to a kain gadol, so it could be, it is dependent on the breaking of the besulim themselves. Okay, so just a point of Ion, the Mishnah Melech, Perak Yudzayin Hachas Yisurei Bia, Halacha Yud Gimel, wishing everyone a wonderful day. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.